on Let's Roll Outdoors. It's 2019, it's January 1st, and to start your new year off right, I'm gonna show you a couple things. First, how to, how to read the beach. Second, how to, how to tie on a basic two hook bottom rig that you can come out here and fish on the beach. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is how to read the beach. I'm gonna show you a little hole that I'm fishing in right now. Okay. So here's what we're going to do today, talk about the beach, and I'm going to show you how to rig up a basic setup that you can catch any fish out here. Alright, it's a warm day, January 1st, you're thinking it's the middle of winter, it should be freezing out here. Well, it's supposed to be 70 degrees today, we've got a strong south wind blowing in uh, the southerly warmth up here in North Carolina right now. First thing we're going to talk about is how to fish the beach, it's low tide. So what I did, I came up here, drove up and down the beach looking for a hole, alright, so I'm looking for places that if you were here in the summertime ready to swim, they'd be dangerous to swim, all right? Steep drop-offs, um, rip currents, little little sucks that go out in between uh, sandbars. So that's what we found today. If you look behind me, right here what we got, I'm on a slope of a beach and it drops straight down right here. The way it goes out, you can see the drop-off right here. There's a drop-off right here, all right? It's just the waves. I don't have my waders on, all right? But there's the drop-off. If you look over this way, All right, y'all, here's the deal. I brought you in out of the wind, brought you in my home to talk about making that two hook bottom rig. All right, so there's nothing fancy about this. It's pretty basic and uh, I'm not gonna use any big fishing terms or anything weird, okay? I'm just gonna talk straight up how I do this. And I've used this rig all around the world. I've caught fish probably up to 20, 30 pounds using this rig with uh, and you basically just change the line size, you change the weight size, you change the swivel size, you change the hook size, based off of the type of fish that you're fishing for. So I'm talking about fishing in North Carolina, doing some basic bottom surf fishing, right? And uh, what I'm using here right now is 30 pound test, all right? And I've used, I'm using a, a little bit of a large weight just for uh, the visual and an extra large swivel here, just for the visual, just so you can see what I'm talking about. And here's the deal. All right, again, you can use this anywhere in the world, change the line size, change the hook size, change the weight size, and you can mix and match this rig for all types of fish. And it's, it's pretty basic. You get you a big spool of 30 pound test here or 20 pound test, and uh, you can pretty much do most of the fishing you need to do up and down the East Coast, um, surf fishing with this basic rig, okay? So check it out. First, make a loop, okay? Here's my loop. Take that loop. All right, and tie a knot right here through that loop. So I'm gonna go in there one, two, three, okay? Three times, and I'm just gonna pull that knot tight. Look at that, ta-da! All right, now what I'm gonna do is go down here on the other end, and now here's the, the great thing about the flexibility of this rig. I can make it as long or as short as I want, okay? So, hey, look at this, it's about 24 inches. And I'm gonna make another loop down here, okay? And I can just leave it connected to the spool. All right, here we go again. I'm gonna make the loop, double up the line, make the loop with my fingers, and put it in three times again. One, two, three, okay? And then pull that loop. All right, so here's what I got going on right now. I've got a loop at each end, okay? And what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna cut the tag end off the spool Okay, and here's your rig. Here's your two hook bottom rig. Okay, so I have a loop right here at the bottom, loop right here at the top, 
And that's how it's going to sit in the water, okay? It's going to sit like that. Now, where do I put the hooks? That's the beauty of the, the simplicity of this thing, all right? You take the tag ends right there, and that's where you tie the hooks on, all right? And you can use whatever kind of hook knot you like to use, and you just tie the hook straight onto that tag end. All right, so where does the weight go? Where does the swivel go? All right, so I take one of the loops, all right? And I just thread that through the swivel, wrap it over the swivel, and pull it down. There. Now the beauty of this is, if I want to change the swivel size, all I got to do is push that back out, take it off the swivel, boom, I'm done. Okay? So here we go. I'm going to do that again. Put the loop through this one eye of the swivel, wrap it over the top of the swivel. There we go. There's the top, and I'm going to tie this to my main line. Okay? I'm going to tie this to my main line. On this side, on that other loop, here we go. Here's my weight. Okay, and I don't care what kind of weight you use, different kinds of weights for different applications, but for this, I'm just using a plain old bank sinker, and I'm using a real big one so you can see it, all right? You like my filming studio here? It's at my uh, dining room table. So I have to lean in, I'm selfie filming, all this. But I do the same thing, okay? I put the loop through the weight, okay? Loop it over the weight, and then I just pull it tight. There you go, now the weight's hanging. Now let's say I need to add more weight. Well, guess what? Then I just slip this loop back off, Boom, and I put a heavier weight on. Maybe I need to use lighter weight, all right? Maybe I'm throwing too much weight and it's just wearing me out all day, or the current's not that bad, or the, the surf is real light and I can put a lighter weight on. Well, then I can just switch out the weight. Again, put the, put the loop through the, uh, the eye of the weight, pull it over the top of the weight, pull it on top, there, okay? So the weight's gonna sit there on the bottom, and then I'm gonna have a hook dangling here on the bottom hook, right then up here towards the top of the rig i've got a swivel right and here's where my other hook is going to hang out up here at the top of the rig okay well how long should those tag ends be i don't care make them as long as you want typically what i do is have a little bit longer um bottom all right let that thing flap around out here and i think sometimes that helps with like uh maybe dragging for flounder when that that bait's dragging around out there and then i have the shorter hook so that way the hooks don't, um, you know, I try to keep enough space so that the, the hooks don't come together and wrap up. So if you just kind of have about a two foot, you know, 18 inches to 24 inches in between the hooks, that usually works out pretty well. And then these tag ends, you know, anywhere from uh, six inches to 12 inches here on these tag ends to tie on the hooks. What kind of hook do I use? Hey, I don't know. It depends on what kind of fish you're fishing for. Uh, how big of a fish are you, do you expect to catch? All right, number fours and number six standard long shank uh, saltwater eagle claw hooks work well for lots and lots of bottom fish uh, up and down the East Coast and a lot of other places around the world. But if you think you're going to catch something bigger, something with a bigger mouth, something that's a lot stronger, something with more teeth, you want to throw some circle hooks on there, whatever. You just got to think about what kind of fish do you think you're going to fish for, what kind of fish do you think is actually going to bite, and then you adjust the rig. But again, with this spool of line right here, I can make a ton of rigs, all right? And all I got to do is make that drop loop, make another drop loop. I got two loops on each end of this uh, leader line, put a swivel on one end, the weights on the other. Now I've got tag ends to tie my hooks on, and boom, basic two hook bottom rig. And I'm telling you, I've caught tons and tons of fish using this basic rig right here. So hopefully I've taught you how, a little bit how to read the beach and how to make a basic two hook bottom rig. There's your how to for this video. And uh, hey, if you got some suggestions, you want to see something else, you've uh, got some questions or whatever, shoot them to me, all right? We'll try to uh, work them into our YouTube videos. So uh, hey, thanks for clicking another video. Hope 2019 is off to a good start for you. And uh, hey, tight lines and good luck out in the woods. We'll see you next time.